This is All India Radio. The news read by Lalima Aneja Dang. In Bihar, UPA chairperson Sonia Gandhi and Union Home Minister Sushil Kumar Shinde visited Bodh Gaya Temple today. Multiple blasts rocked the temple town on Sunday morning. Mr Shinde is expected to meet officials of investigation agencies and the state government to review the security arrangements in the temple complex. Investigators of the Bihar Police and National Investigation Agency are likely to brief Shinde about the progress in the probe. Home Minister and Congress President will also meet the injured monks. Finance Minister P Chidambaram has arrived in Washington to pitch among American investors for a fresh wave of foreign direct investment in key sectors like infrastructure. Chidambaram, who is on a 4-day trip to Washington, will deliver a keynote address at the 38th annual leadership summit of the US India Business Council and meet his American counterpart Jack Leo. He is also scheduled to meet a host of American corporate leaders and lawmakers who of late have been highly critical of some of the Indian policies in particular those related to intellectual property rights and foreign direct investment. The finance minister is scheduled to meet industry representatives later today. India and Nepal have expressed their commitment to strengthening and broadening the bilateral ties that exist between the two countries. At the meeting between the External Affairs Minister Salman Khurshid and his Nepali counterpart Madhav Prasad Ghimire in Kathmandu yesterday, the two ministers exchanged views on a wide range of bilateral and multilateral issues of mutual interest in a cordial and friendly atmosphere. Appreciating the cooperation received from the government and the people of India to the peace process, the democratic process and support for the upcoming constituent assembly election in Nepal, Mr Ghimire expressed the government of Nepal's gratitude for all all the support india has been providing to nepal in odisha the world famous rath yatra of lord jagannath is being held at the holy city of puri today more than 10 lakh devotees have already arrived in puri to witness this colorful grand festival shri jagannath temple servitors government officials and police personnel have completed all arrangements for the mega event The 136th Lord Jagannath Rath Yatra began in Ahmedabad this morning amidst tight security. As per the tradition, elephants had a first glimpse of Lord Jagannath and led the procession which set off from the over 400-year-old iconic Jagannath Temple in Jamalpur area. The Rath Yatra entourage will pass through different parts of the city and cover a distance of 14 kilometers. Elaborate security measures have been made to ensure peaceful passage of the Rath Yatra in which lakhs of devotees from the city and outside participate. There is a heavy deployment of police and central armed paramilitary forces for the event. In addition to the unmanned aerial vehicles, 20 CCTV cameras have been installed at various places. India stormed into the finals of the Tri-Nation Cricket Tournament as they defeated Sri Lanka by 81 runs last night via Duckworth Lewis method in the rain-marred final group match at Port of Spain. Team India posted 119 for 3 in 29 overs after it was put into bat. They then bundled out Sri Lanka for just 96 in 24.4 overs, making it into the final. The 207th anniversary of Velour Sepoy mutiny in Tamil Nadu is being observed today. and that is the end of this news bulletin